What we knew is gone. Our home, our lives, all that we were, dust. Blasted across empty, heartless skies. But we live. Our legacy lives. Within every ship we fly. Upon every world we touch. In our hearts. In yours. There will be challenge. You will know fear. But you will overcome. You will survive. And answer vengeance with blood. You will do as you must. Rule cannot be handed to the faithless. Our legacy cannot be lost to villains. Bury the past to face the future. In enemies, find allies. There is no price we have not paid. No loss we have not felt. Our dead world, our long suffering, these are not ends. We are not ended. For your crew, for your people, for this new home. We must face all doubt. We must break the strong who would destroy us and overcome the impossible. We must fight against any and all. We must, we will, for we are Romulan. The youngest of our kind rely on stories to know what our people were like before. Strong, secretive, warlike. We were feared. We were powerful. Then, everything changed. Twenty-two years ago, the star of the Hobus system went supernova. The resulting explosion traveled through subspace to hit Romulus and Remus, our homelands. No one could have predicted that would happen, and no one could have stopped it. Millions died. Those who survived were scattered across dozens of worlds. One day, we were citizens of one of the greatest powers of the galaxy, and the next, we were just trying to survive. Every day was a struggle if you weren't part of the militant and oppressive Tal Shiar, or ruling everything from on high like Empress Sela. For ordinary Romulans, military victories don't mean much when you're hungry. Life goes on. The Klingons and Starfleet are at one another's throats. The battles like years away don't affect us much. The Tall Shi'ar are the more immediate threat. They're rebuilding the Empire by force, and pressing anyone they think can help into service. But even they don't seem to know we're here. We've put down roots found friends. And today we'll celebrate what we've created. With hard work and some good fortune, true Romulans will once again rise to be a power for the galaxy. The first step on that path begins here. <clears throat> Your current tasks will be displayed. Ah, be quiet, you. Hey guys, it's Santos here. I ah, figured. Eh, it was too late to show you leveling up my clank and fed, so I'm gonna level a Romulan, 1 to 50. And when it comes time to choose a faction, I'm gonna do the only w way I know how. I'm gonna flip a coin. Let's get these quests started. There you are. The security chief was looking for you earlier. She said there's trouble at the vineyard. Avrak's been filing reports all night about Kellett's chewing at the vines. He's really worked up. Something must have annoyed them. It's not typical Kellett behavior. With the big celebration tonight, I think everyone's a little overexcited. Even the bugs. You should listen to one of Abrak's messages before you head out there. Interactable items have a glow around them. Walk oh. up and press F Quiet. to interact with a I played this game enough, I know. Oh, let's check our inbox. Oh, this guy must really want to talk to us. Please tell me you'll help me. Kellets are in the vineyard chewing through the irrigation pipes, and everyone says they're too busy getting ready for the big party to come and do something about it. 
won't be any party if everyone's knee deep in water by nightfall. Get over here and help me fix this. Okay, what else you got to say? When are you coming over here? This is getting ridiculous. No one. They think these crops just grow without any help from anyone. Ten of these mines is a lot of work. No one says thank you. No one pats me in the back. They just keep asking for more. God, look, just get over here and take care of the kellens, all right? And maybe say thank you for all the work I do to keep these vineyards in shape. Oi. It's me again. Ignore the other message I sent. I lost my temper. Maybe that's why you're not here yet. I really could use your help, though. These Kellens are chewing through everything, and they won't stop. That's nice. And no one here is even trying to help. They just keep bouncing me to other people. First to Tovan, then to Navala, then to you. Well, what's that? Should I ask one of the kids? Just please come here soon. Thanks. Oh, all right. I guess I should go help him. Kellids are chewing up the vineyard. You should probably grab a pistol, just in case. I join you, but the chief has me looking into some odd comm chatter we picked up yesterday. We'll have to catch up later. Okay, bye. Oh, I guess we gotta grab a weapon. This is a locker? This out where anyone can grab them? Okay. Oh, let's get some target practice. Uh, two. Uh, one. That works. By the way, guys, I have actually not played a Romulan, so I have no idea what any of these people, NPCs do. So, when in doubt, talk to all of them. You look important. Who are you? Nobody. Keeper of lore. Ready for the big festival? Working hard? Or maybe you have time to listen to a story or two? Hmm? Sure, why not? Avrak, you're in for a fun day. I'm glad I don't have to deal with him. Anyway, do you want to hear any stories? Almost 2,000 years ago, our people were Vulcans. At that time, Vulcan was a world of war, with constant struggles between the tribes. Serac changed that. He taught that peace came through logic. And if you ask me, not all Vulcans get that right. Serac said that people should master their emotions, not eliminate them. But not everyone on Vulcan wanted to give up love, or passion, or even anger. The Vulcan said, these people marched beneath the raptor's wings. Instead of fighting their own people, these Vulcans decided to leave in an event we call the Sundering. They boarded great colony ships and set out into unexplored space, looking for a home where they could live and feel as they wished. Eventually, those who marched beneath the raptor's wings found Romulus and Remus. They created an empire. Although we share a genetic bond with the Vulcans, are our own people. Never forget that. Want to hear another story? The destruction of Romulus was a terrible thing. We lost our home and our loved ones. We lost our soul. The people who survived were scattered and leaderless. Survival was a daily struggle. There were some fights for control before Empressila took over, but I never paid much attention. That Taurus woman was never going to get far. Now, Sila and the Tal Shiar are attempting to rebuild the strength of the Romulan Star Empire, but they do so with fear and oppression. Steer clear of them if you can. 
People like us should just try to stay out of the Tal Shiar's way. Life is more important than politics or power. There are a lot of Romulans who just wander from planet to planet because there's no place to call home anymore. We're lucky to have Viranat. This is a good place. A place to put down roots. Without that, we're just dust, scattered by the winds of fate. Do you want to hear another story? Almost 2,000 years ago, our people were Vulcan. Instead of fighting their own people, Viranat was a colony world. It used to be a big agricultural planet, growing food for the Empire. After Romulus was destroyed, thousands upon thousands of people flooded the planet. The old cities couldn't hold them all, and they were scared. They started fighting amongst themselves. One night, the cities burned. Most of the survivors left. A few hung on, scrapping old ships and using them as building materials. That's how the Maori found them, about ten years ago. The Maori was the commander of an old war. The Bob was his first officer, and the Bex the chief engineer. They were wandering the sector trying to find a new home. When they found Viranat, they decided to stay. Devex kept the old warbird functional, and he used it to make supply runs and bring back other Romulans who needed a home. Navala put herself in charge of security, and the Maori, he runs the whole colony now. Devex met Tovan Kev in a mining colony a few years back. I think it was uh, four years ago. But then again, I didn't come here until two years ago, so this is not just information I've heard about secondhand. I actually have a question for you, if you don't want to hear another story first. When did you arrive here? I know we only have a few hundred people living here, but so many come and go that it's hard to keep track. I I'm recording the stories of all the people that live here, you see. And I would love to start yours off with your arrival. Who knows? It could be something that becomes historical in a few years. Oh, well, let's see. Um, I was picked up a few years ago. A Devex recruit. Fascinating. We've had some interesting characters come here thanks to him. We should definitely talk more about this over drinks tonight. I would love to know where Devex found you. Hey there! Ready for the big festival? Working hard? I guess we go do the mission. You know, folks, I'll start up the missions next time. Catch you guys in a bit.